American angler, you're up with the sun, with the fish on your line, your day's just begun, American angler, on Lake Sea and Stream, you're living the good life, catch the one of your dreams. Back to the wind No, they'll never believe this back Oh, American angler The thrill's all your own Mean hombre Mean hombre Get him over here, cook well, let him Grab him when he goes by <laughs> All right Yeah, that'll start Boy, is that fish stout in thick shoulder. That's the way you're oh. supposed to start the morning. I don't know whether I can handle five or ten or twenty of them in there. What hour do you think of that? I'll try. I like it. <laughs> From just south of Mazatlan, Mexico, I'm Pat Trainer. Welcome to the American Angler. As you can see, we're bass fishing, big time. We're the guests of Lawn Speeds Lodge. Here at El Salto, and my my guest this morning is none other than Mr. Ken Cook, Bassmaster Classic champ, and Tammy Cook, his wife. Hi. You ready to catch them, Tammy? You bet. I'm ready. We're here in early spring. Got a lot of brush in the water, grass. And we're going to catch you a bunch of big fish today on a spinnerbait. This lake is is kind of noted as a trophy lake. You can catch a lot of small fish, a lot of males up right now, but the one thing about this lake is that you can, on any given cast, catch a fish between 10 and 15 pounds. They're in here. That's what you come to this lake for, to catch big bass. You stay with us. We're going to catch you some. God. That fish a little stout, was he, Ken? <laughs> I said, after I, I thought he was done. He liked to pull me out of the boat. Boy. These things just... Those little ones will lull you into a false sense of security. And you jerk the little guys out of the water and then one of that guy's size hits it. So you telling me when I catch a big enough, I better hang on? No, I'm telling you, you better pull hard. <laughs> we may have to hang on to you. Really, they may pull you out of the boat. There is just so much cover in this lake. And there's a lot more of that size fish in here than one would think. Uh, they dumped out. I did give one little deal to them. I went to 25 pound test big game in here because I know this cover is bad. And they do know where home is. We had an opportunity to fish this lake a year ago, and even though we've got what I would consider not a good spinnerbait type conditions, it seems to be the bait that produces the best quality fish. Boy, that sure makes me mad. But now this one's not a big one, but it's a fish. A little bit better than average so far. Man. Come out of that bush. Here a two pounder can just be a arm load <laughs> down. That's a pretty nice little bass. Well, that's better than the average little bitty one. But I'll tell you, it ain't hard to tell when you get, get one of them big These ones. fish are so warm, this water's about 70 degrees. Is it? They were warm yesterday. And these fish are real close I think they're to being typical. ready to do it, don't you think, Ken? Yeah, I think, look, I, from what I can see so far, pre-spawn type, they're on these little secondary points. You know, just about ready to go back up in these flat pockets where they probably spawn. And they, and that, in that condition, a lot of times they'll bite a spinnerbait. Boy, that sure makes me mad. I hate to hit that heartthrob. So, it's no, I've been kind of pulling it and stopping, just pulling it and pausing it. I've been it. just kind of wallering mine around. Yeah, loafing it. Pull it and let it go down a little bit. We pretty, got Pretty good fish right there. He kind of bowed you up, didn't he? That's a pretty decent little bass. Come on, guy. Do it one more time. Ah, out of two and a half, three pounder. 
Yeah, they're jumpers. That's shallow water fish. He's got a nice Turn belly on it. Got a nice belly on the fish, see? Been eating some of them thread fin that Ron put in here. Or something. Put it more on this side. They're getting healthy. They're not biting my worm too good, though, this morning. Yeah, you probably ought to keep on testing it. I'm going to throw it a time or two more. I may catch at least one more on my heartthrob. Tammy will get it. I ain't going to let her have it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Second time around. Big. Key the fish. Big. Key the fish. Nice one. He's going to have me in the Boy, brush. you're in a bad place. Keep his head up. You got him. And that's the spot. Key the fish. That's, that's the good spot you weren't going to let Tammy have. That was a spot, Tammy. <laughs> there he was. He was back in there in the bush. I'll check out for the big one. That's a, that's a right night bass. Ouch. Are we having fun yet? I got some, I got sore thumbs. <laughs> Look at that. Healthy, pretty, stout fish. If that had been a 10 pounder, he would have had you in a bad place, wouldn't he? Thank you, thank you. That'll make me boy, stand up. Boy, did he ever you. destroy my spinnerbait. Big they boy. Are relatively destructive on spinnerbait. You get back down in there. You were a lot of fun now. Thank you. Tammy, it's your turn. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Baby's in the water. Hog's on the bank. Ken, you throwing a tandem or single? You know, the most popular model is a tandem will leaf, but it just doesn't cast as well to me. That's one reason I like the single. Big will leaves tend to want to wind flutter bad enough as it is. You get that in this time, let's take a look at it. The single is, to me, cast easier. And fishing at a slower you know, retrieve like the single fish seem to want. Hello. That one cat? No, I got a nice bush. Well, oh, but how about that set? Did you know that? I'm telling you. If that had been a 10 pounder, I'd have had him. Let's take a look at that. A single is, it's just a single classic model heart throb, and it's got one little leaf. That's about Blue a chartreuse and red to steal my color. Is that a five blade seven, you got on there? Seven. Seven? Pretty good size blade. And I, if you put two of them on there, a five and a seven is what we normally use on the tandem little leaf. It, wind really wants to make it go wah, wah, wah. How'd it go? Tammy. What was that? Missing bank here. And I like to fish the tandem will when I'm reeling it real fast, but this is pull and drop kind of fishing. To me a single works better. I want to ask you something. How come you how come a will leaf over a Colorado? Water's clear. I, it seems to me that the fish like a less vibration by the willow leaf in the clear water. Fish have told me that. I'm sure they'd probably buy the Colorado blade. And I like to fish the Colorado blade when, I, when the water's cold and you're fishing it real slow. More throb, more, more vibration. Willow leaves a little easier to pull, and I'm just kind of lazy. And then they're biting it, so. Why change? It ain't broke, don't fix it. Boy. No shortage of places to throw. There he was. Bambino. A little, bit A little bit better. Get him up through all these bushes. Come on, big boy, bad. you're not that mean. <laughs> He's bad. You're out pretty color. Bad ombre. In this water. Boy, these things are pretty. I'll tell you what, their little old teeth for bass are sharp now. Part uh, piranha. I brought a glove, would you like it? No. I remember last year. We kind of got scarred up a little we bit, didn't we? Up, I didn't like it one bit. I'm going to get you another one right here. I showed that thumb to everyone that <laughs> I knew. She had it plasticized. That's right. I got bit again. I bet these are bedding fish. They're not just hammering, hitting at it. 
fighting it. Buck's back in there on the bed, trying to establish the territory. He took my tail right off of it. Established this one's territory. You got him? Little guy, he's just in the tree. Got him. Got him. You got it too, don't you, sweetheart? Why not? You haven't been wet all day. Getting a lot of bites, we're not sticking all of a sudden. Oh, that's still the bucks, I think, fighting it. There's one. A little one. Little buck. He's a skiing. Barefoot. Barefoot and big gaming. I like it. Be so. Be so. Pass and get me saying that. Be so? Be so. Patrick. <laughs> He's bushed. <laughs> All right, look at that. Oh, man. <laughs> man. Run him in the troll motor. Go ahead. I make him a lot bigger. We're gonna help you out there, Pat. All right. <sighs> heavy fish, heavy fish. Heavy. 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 Yeah, I, I've got a new color. What in the world? Look at that fish. <laughs> My the old word. Gumbo, didn't he? How about that, Tambo? He kind of grabbed that thing, didn't he? He's a little bit bigger than the last one. Tambo and the Mogambo. <laughs> Let me get out of your way, Tammy, where they can take a look at that fish. He just came from nowhere, didn't he? He sure did. He That Mogambo worked. Hell dang call. He ran up there and got it. That palm tree has to come to a point there. I'm not sure how many little ones you got to go through to catch a big one, but I'll tell you, we're going through them pretty fast. <laughs> like if you have to catch a hundred little ones to catch one big one, that'd happen about that once an hour, wouldn't it? Because we catch about a hundred an hour. Sure. Where is he, Tammy? Where'd he go? Well, get him out. Right. That's a good looking little fish. <laughs> Bring him out. Don't, Don't let him beat you. On a worm. On the old jerk worm. The old jerk worm bass. You got him? I got him. You handle him? I handle him. Handle it, handle it. Pretty nice fish, lady. I can just get a little bit bigger each time I can. <laughs> yeah. That'll work. Big ones are beating us. Tammy's catching all the good ones. I bet you I could probably throw over in there. One I have a hard time getting I'll tell you what, there's so many places that you could throw. It's like, I'll get into it. Oh, I, I was such a bad place over there, I didn't figure I could possibly ever get a fish out of it, so I'd throw in there. I don't want that. You can't cook. You know what? Okay. Good? Okay. okay. I had no one with him as dark as a tail one. Yeah, it's got a dark tail in it. Okay, I'm coming. Come here, you. Wow. Pretty nice fish. <laughs> My thumb's getting sore again, Pat. Boy, they I are. Do, I, think, I think you're right. These Mexican fish do have. They got sharp teeth, man. They have that. Pretty good fish, Pat. Nice. Henri. Look how dark. They seem to be darker right here. It's real clear water. And dark, dark. Clear and dark and deep. 
I mean, those things are tough now. I mean tough. Whoa. Oh, good grief. Another one. Jerk me out of the boat right there. <laughs> now look nowhere for that. This one like to have jerked me right slam out of the boat. Come here, you. Yep, that'll work. Ow! Well, you got a belly on her. Oh, uh, see why? Got a purse. Got a sloppy tail. Let me see. See? Oh, it sure does. So you can see it bulging right here on his belly. <laughs> Trying to get my spinner bait too, honey. About a five. He's showing up, isn't he? Show off. Frisky five. He come off you? the bank, Ken. Hello, goodbye. That's okay. Yes, not. Well, there's a joint. Got a gorilla bass on. Coming out of there. Better step down. <laughs> it's a bona fide good one. Oh, he's gonna kill me. You gotta yank quick, don't you? Mm, man, I saw that fish come up and eat, eat this bit right Oh my God, I've ever seen you move so fast. You think I pulled that one out of the bushes? <laughs> say the least. I'd say that fish was back in there a ways. That's a record time now. Oh, Whew. man, they had to be winding on that one now. Did a good job they getting him out of there. Fish. That little fish looks like she's pretty spent, look at that. Yeah, looks like she has spawned. Yeah, really? I saw the fish. That was spinnerbait. Spinnerbait hit the water and I she moved it about two feet and she come whoosh. She come right off that moss, <laughs> didn't she? Yeah. Right at the edge of it. Whoosh. I mean, just came and ate it. <sighs> I'm going to sit down on that one. Sit down on that Straight one. Straight my spinnerbait back out. It's shortly, Boy, you sort of lucky wrecked. to get that one out of there. Well, that's why it was coming and I was bringing it. She did, did a good job. It did pick an open slot to come out. It kind of straightened your, your war out a little bit. It did kind of bend my, bend my spinny bait. Pull the skirt down, pull the trailer worm down, Stop. bent my wire, Stop. tired me all out. Y'all go ahead. Oh my God, I've never seen you move so fast. <laughs> 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 hey, Pat jerked his out of there pretty he quick took it, He took it off that limb. <laughs> kind of took a liking to it, didn't you? That's not the fish that went up on it the first time, oh, though. Oh, man. Oh, I feel bad. I don't know if I can reel nothing out there that fast. Yeah, I hit the, hit the water just like that, and the bait, wake was bulled. The bait was waking, and she came up behind it and just made a bigger wake and just kabooshed it. Crashed it, huh? I mean. <laughs> Would you say there's a little action out here this morning? They're in here. I mean, we catch them on anything. Yeah. Not anything, but... Anything we throw them. Yeah. We got stuff over here in tackle box we ain't caught them on yet, but... <laughs> I'm tired of tying on stuff. <laughs> they want it all. Really? I guess that's why you bring so much. Would you put this lake in one of your top ten, Ken, for... Yeah, probably top three or four. ...having fun and catching fish? Big ones and lots of them. You know, that's what's good about this place. I mean, you get bit all the time, but you better be ready because the next bite might be Godzilla. Well, that's it. That's the way Ron's always promoted this lake as a, as a trophy lake. And that's that. Sometimes you get them and sometimes you don't, but, boy, you stand a chance of getting one any time you put a bait in the water. At any time, you need any kind of field testers to go to New Lake. You feel free to call Ken and I. Well, that's something to think about. <laughs> we can volunteer to help Ron, I guess. Busy. Volunteer to help Ron yeah. test around for new We new can fishers. come down here and guide for Ron probably in the off season. <laughs> off season when they only catch 75 ready a day. I don't think. Whoa! Hello, I don't think. Get him, Pat. I don't think. <laughs> Can we help you? What's this here? I'm not even going to begin with nothing. All right, darling. Jump him up in there. Come here and talk to me. Come here and talk to me. Well, grab him. I'm waiting for him to open his mouth. He just is skating around there. Look at there. Showing out. Thank you. That'll work. Whew, 
Man, them fish are so heavy, not mm -hmm. to be any longer than they are. Stout too, aren't they? I mean, that, that fish is a load now. How much? See, she's been spawning pretty good too. That fish is spawning. Four? Five? Good. Four. I like four. I like four. Mean Henri four. Good job. Let's do better than that. <laughs> look at this spinnerbait now. <laughs> this Doesn't spinnerbait look... wrecking this bass I ever saw. <laughs> it looks pretty odd, don't it? <laughs> He's on the spinnerbait wrecking this bass. He's absolutely destroyed my exhaust system on this spinnerbait. <laughs> Boy, that was a good bite. That was one of them old blade go dead type bites. Bite. <laughs> Oh, the blades just went dead? Yeah, they just went dead. They are in that shallow water. Shallow. You probably haven't hit in there. I know you haven't, Ken. No, I hadn't hit that hole. I'm trying to get these biggins on the outside here just a little bit. Yeah. Catch them a little four and five pounder. Was he up there in the mossy mossy? No, he was right out in front of it, Tammy. He was. Did he come up after it? No. No? No. Put it down. He kind of stayed down there and let me feed it to him. You had to do all the work. I had to do all the work until I set the hook and then he went to work. Look at there. What's that? Look up in there. Ooh, bonk. What was that? He just knocked the snot out of it. Find your hole in there, fire it in there, Tammy. Ooh, bonk, he said. Oh, hey. oh, oh, here's a big one. Jesus. We're in big trouble now. Coming right through the tree and all. I, I ain't I, saying a word. I thought that face was a lot bigger than that. Sheared nothing but timber coming through there. <laughs> I mean, you talk about a, a Berkeley Trilene commercial. Yeah. I'll bear down on that one. <laughs> There's about uh, four cards of wood in there. <laughs> well, there's an open spot now you can pull them through. Roll it. Rolling, rolling, rolling. He's he, not, not as big as I thought. He's not as big as we thought. But he was a pretty nice fish. Made a pretty good swirl. He was right where you said he was. Hey, that's slimy. Right where he should have been. Yep. Right in there. You know, it's one thing to figure them out to get the bite in this lake. When you get the bite, yeah. the real the real job is just starting. Figure out how to get them clean. <laughs> how to get them to the boat. Eight bushes to the boat. The hard part. That's I the mean. Fun, that's the fun hard part, though. You know, no, like I like figuring out how to catch them, I think, about as good as anything. That's why. That's why I took up the tournament trail, so I could figure out a different problem every few days. Not that it gets too easy, but it is nice to have a different set of circumstances every few days. Does it change? Circumstances, it changes every day, every few days, even on the same body of water. But. back in there, did it? Little bitty guy, way back in that timber. Oh, what a place that I can throw. But I ain't, I ain't even gonna throw water. Well, these fish are black across the back. Yeah, that pretty dark water makes them really pretty. They are. This water is just perfect. Got the right color of green to it. It's like a pretty fertile little pond. You weren't going to throw there, were you? No, I was going to straighten my spinnerbait up for it. All right. Let me it. He's got me treed. And he's about as big as a spinnerbait. Oh, yeah? Yeah. About as big as a spinnerbait. Bigger big enough to tear that tree up and all get out of there. Yeah, he would have. 
Well, I ain't figured out yet how he's got tangled up. What you doing, Tammy? Well, come off of there. <laughs> Are you skating one out of there, too? What back here? Then the car feels I can't get hung up back in there, too. Tammy's got one dancing off this other limb. We just got bass hanging everywhere. Gracias, amigo. Uh oh, she's got it coming this way now. Oh, well, you gonna skate yours out across the brush and the timber? And <laughs> <laughs> this is why you need big line at El Salto. Well, for them big fish. It don't matter how big they are. <laughs> <laughs> you need big line just to have any chance to get your bait back. That's right. Now, that little guy there don't even weigh what? Nine, Ten ounces, six, maybe. Eight maybe. Ounces, maybe. Maybe. And I couldn't move him with that 25 pound string. He had me bushed big me time. Far enough back up in there and I'll catch a Godzilla. I guarantee they're in that stuff back in the back. She just insists on catching one on that sidekick, don't she? She likes throwing that thing. <laughs> Ken probably. Not only the, the bait that we're using, but the way we've been working this spinnerbait is probably the most important well, part really of catching not, these fish. Yeah, they're really not hitting it every which way that we really throw it out there and wind it back. It's, it's a matter of fishing the bait instead of just chunking and winding. So basically what I'm trying to do is target a, a spot, most of these lay down bushes, pull the spinnerbait up to it, and then stop it and let it flutter down. And the blade keeps turning as it goes down. And a lot of these bigger fish particularly are biting the bait as it goes down. Just kind of helicopters yeah, down. It just sort of helicopters down. The blade turns and and it, it goes thump when they bite it. So it's it's really that's the way I like to fish spinnerbait most is is to pull and stop. A stop and go retrieve catches a lot more fish. Well, in this heavy retrieve. brush, you know, you're you're using an underhand cast right now, and that's we've done a lot of that because you get in with these tall trees and the limbs, and you can't really get a lot of swing on your rod. So if you just put the bait in your left hand and just kind of ease it out there. It'll make a quiet entry, and you get it right on the target. So learning that underhand cast yeah. can be very important. In this real heavy timber, you see any kind of cast you can get is good if it hits the water. <laughs> but a long rod, uh, to me, Pat, works a lot better even for a short cast than heavy timber because you've got so much more leverage on the fish. You got so much more leverage, you know, in, in directing the cast when you make it, particularly long, a short underhand cast. And, and so that's why I've been using a, a long spinnerbait rod for several years now. As a matter of fact, this one I've got in my hands is, is a is a Daiwa prototype. It's, it's not even in production yet, but it will be by fall. So that's a seven uh, footer, right? It's a seven footer uh, with IM6 graphite for sensitivity. Because when that blade is just helicoptering down, you need to feel the bait almost like you're fishing a jig. Because a lot of times it'll just go thump, or like you said, the blades will stop turning. And sensitivity is important in fishing a spinnerbait slow. Well, with that long rod too. You know, all these fish, once you stick them, you get his head up, you gotta keep that fish coming. You can't let him get any leverage on you from that point on. That's right. Or these big fish are just gonna be gone in this stuff. And like you said, we're, we're slashing and tearing the timber, pulling them in, and, and uh, the long, long rod gives you a lot more leverage. Not only the long rod, but the long extended yeah. butt and all, it's two-handed, you, you can get a lot more uh, force applied to the fish, and we, we need all the help we can get in this really heavy timber. Well, even though we've been, Ken and I both using 25 pound test line, we've had some two to three pound fish break us off in this stuff because they'll get around something and get you wrapped so quick if you let them stay down in the water. Right. You get their head up and just keep them coming and you've done a super job of that today. <laughs> I like this part. Let's go catch some more. <laughs> I can get one more probably. Stay with us. We'll find you some more big ones. Be right back. Ah, get him on this Good side of the boat. Gosh. This side, this side over here. Boy, you he's think that fish don't know what he's doing? He wants to. Ow. I didn't jump one more time and then get him. Yeah, All right. right. Beat you to death with that heart throw. <laughs> Boy, Big bass. Right. He be all yours. <laughs> Tammy, he has definitely put us on or put it on us, I should say. Well, you get me in the front of the boat. I mean, I get, well, all, I know. These, get we, all the easy ones. We have to kind of pacify him, don't we? <laughs> It has some sort of population control. Hogs, we just feed this little sister to the hogs. If you throw it in here, you can definitely get bit. The, tr the trick is, is the throwing part. 
Well, yeah. then, yeah. then the winding the in part's not real easy. I don't know, I'll throw another direction. Oh, there he was. Oh, he ain't good, dude. Look out, falling timber. <laughs> well, he was in there, though. Uh -huh. well, it's going to be rough to leave this and go all the way to Oklahoma. Hang on, Gosh. <laughs> go faster. <laughs> I think he's gone. I think he's gone. Hey, nah, he's still there. He's still there? Yeah. Yeah, he's still there. Where is he? He's there. Just keep coming. I see. He's there. I got him. I got him. Oh, Ken, don't let him get off. Oh, open your mouth. Yes. Oh, oh, what a fish. <laughs> What a fish! Nice one. Good green. I should have thrown in there after all. Now right there is what this lake's all about. Wow. Could you believe yeah, where that yeah. fish come from? And to do all of that. There's your 25 pound big game holding that. Look at this spinnerbait. That's nice. That's... How big? How big? How many? One, hey. two, three. Eight. eight, yeah. Eight. That's about what I say. Eight. That's an easy eight. Wasn't Ooh. easy though, was it? I'll tell you what, I did. <laughs> I'm still shaking. I thought he was going to beat you, but I am still shaking. Good job, Pat. I'd brag a little bit more, but I'm going to see if I can't catch you. Get you one, Tammy. I'm going to turn this old gal loose right back here where she's a nesting. Sweetheart, you did a super job. Up the moon. There she goes. Another skater. Here he comes. <laughs> there he comes. <laughs> I like that. What do you think you of just, this? You just can't catch them in the open stuff. They way back in there in that stuff. Tammy's going to take your picture. Yes. Depends that's the biggest one you've caught. Not. <laughs> <laughs> How was that, Pat? That was great. What do you think? It's been a pretty good day, huh? It's been a wonderful day. <laughs> Only problem with this is just to having to leave it, I really? guess. I, I cannot really leave. We could have done this another two or three days easy if they'd have just had room for us. Ron's real busy right now. I can see why. We're going to come back here next year, I guarantee it. This lake is tremendous. That's all you can say about it. I've Full learned fit. a lot about my fishing down here. I mean, it's... You can practice up on a lot of things. You definitely can. <laughs> you can do anything you want to do. You can catch them. Just reach in your tackle box really? and get something out and throw it. You're going to get bit on it. We haven't tried anything that's, that we haven't got. That's a good part of it. The accommodations are great. The food's great. People are great. This lake is phenomenal. It's been great having you, Ken. Anytime. All right, I'll go anytime. This you kind too. Of stuff. Enjoying it, Pat. I'm ready to come back. Okay, come see us. All righty. We'll look forward to seeing you next week on our next episode of The American Angler. Bye. From El Salto, hasta luego. Adios. Adios.